Huh? Can you see the slide? Yes. Right. Of course, it's the it's a quite quite long time 20, 2015, but the material the thing is the same. You know, not to say same, but this is. Uh, I give I give a talk on sustaining lean organization. So we need to learning from Toyota again and again and again. Okay. So. So from Toyota to Toyota to TPS. Okay. These are the books that is important to read for understanding lean or TPS. Tai Chi Ono, Workplace Management, Lean Thinking, Womack and Jones, Toyota Way, 14 Principles by Jeffrey Liker. Okay, these are the gurus of Lean. And uh, this is a Lexus, Toyota. So, so Toyota produced. Well, I know some people, they like European cars, you know, they like uh, BMW, but I still believe in the quality and reliability of uh, Japanese cars eh? and especially Toyota. So if you see the diagram here, this is, this is Kanban, eh? you see this arrow here, this is a production line. This is the factory. Kojo, ne? Kore Kojo, Kojo. This is supplier. So you see the arrow, this is Kanban. And then there is parts plant, there is press, production press, Toyota dealer. Go to their website if you want to see more detail of this. Uh, so some terms used in TPS. So you have not seen some of these terms. The book only very simple, okay? It's just introduction. Undone, for example, undone. And then is uh, lamp lights. They put on machine to indicate operation status. Okay, Gemba Gen Genchi Genbutsu. Go and see the problem. That is the concept in TPS. Hey Junka leveling. Ho Renso. This is uh, detailed progress report on issues or problem. Zembo Nihongo. So if someone study lean and do not have this uh, Japanese understanding. So I think they can copy some, but they will miss a lot of things. They will miss a lot of things because it is a culture thing, okay? Uh, jidoka. Jidoka is one of the two pillars referred to ability to stop machine production line. That is important to understand. That's why waste reduction, eh? jidoka. Uh, just in time, there were sorry, were only one. Eh? Just in time, one pillar of TPS, unit flow, pool system, and using uh, signals, which is called Kanban. JIT use Kanban, and in TPS there is Kaizen, Kaizen, Meruka to make visible, Mondai Kaiketsu problem solving, Muda what is Muda, what is Mura, what is Muri. So these are things that must be understood. Or oh, not namawashi kaha. Maybe it's wrong spelling. Preliminary discussion to discuss. There is obeya, big room style of work where many to open space and discuss. Ukayoke, take time. And most important is yoko ten. Why? Because we find a standard, it must be standardized throughout the, the factory, throughout the, you know, um, all other uh, subsidiaries, Yoko 10, across everywhere. Plan related activity or countermeasure that are communicated plan wide and other affiliate companies. So this is very important. So I always say that, you know, even you come up with this, uh, this so-called uh, house of uh, TPS, okay, house of TPS like this. This is a continuous improvement. There is team. Uh, team is important because if you don't want to do improvement, no team effort, there is no improvement. Okay. All right. So, uh, sort of history. I will tell you the history of uh, Toyota. Maybe you already know, but I will repeat. I will tell you. Ikichi Toyoda, rice farmer. Poor carpenter, okay, he was only, uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, make uh, rice. Eh? So, Sakichi Toyoda, 
uh, he actually invented Toyota automotive loom. This one making uh, cloth, okay, weaving. So he became national hero, entrepreneur, innovate, inventor, invented the weaving machine that has automatic stop. Uh, this is what we call as jidoka, automatic stop. What do we mean automatic stop? When one thread snaps, one thread, you know, snap, stop, machine stop. Because if you continue making, there is defect in the cloth. So he invented many loom, including automatic weaving, uh, automatic machine with jidoka. Jidoka. So, so Toyota history is not only now. Okay, Toyota started from weaving company. Then they move on, and then uh, there is this uh, later on Kichiri Toyota. Actually, eh? there is uh, so uh, so more some more history about. Uh, is it after this? Ah, uh, this okay. After this, I will. So he said, Kichiro said, everyone should tackle some great project at least once in their life. So he invented weaving looms. So he said to his son, he said to his son, okay, now is your turn. So that's why he started automotive industry. Automotive industry was started by Toyota in 37. Toyota Automotive. Then they only supply truck. So this was their turnaround. Financial crisis, restructure, layoff after World War II. So they managed to actually overcome. They were almost going to go bankrupt. Toyota Automotive. Okay. And uh, Truck production increase. Luckily, they were they make money by making trucks initially. Okay, so when they have already because you must see that they already have technology in um, weaving, so they use this jidoka into production line stop for production car. Any problem, stop the production line. Don't let quality defect flow. Stop the quality defect. Don't continue process. Solve the problem, then only start back. 1960, they already understand about how to make quality. Kanban. Okay. The guru of, uh, one of the gurus for TPS is Taichi Ono. Okay. Taichi Ono said, work, uh, said that worker gets fatigued, he should stop the line. If you are tired, you stop the line. Because if you don't stop the line, you are just producing defects. For example, if you are tired, you should go to bed. I mean, common sense, right? So stop the line. So this provide the basis for Toyota production system. Right? And after that, they won the Deming Prize for Quality Award, Japan. Deming is a American uh, quality guru. Eh? Okay, so he he was uh, the quality award was named by him. But Toyota already won it in 1965. 1973, uh, that was the turnaround. That was an all shock. There was all price increase all over the world. There was, uh, and Japan was in recession. And uh, the TPS first gets the widespread attention. They produce cars for the US with low fuel consumption. Uh, that's when Toyota break into the US market, 1970s. Because Americans were producing very big cars, okay, big cars. So use a, consume a lot of petrol, gasoline. So they, they actually uh, penetrated US market in the 70s, then uh, they started to actually export a lot of cars. But in terms of uh, TPS, this, the West, the West, America only know 1990, the lean production. <laughs> so they, the book by Jones, uh, Womack and Jones, okay? Womack and Jones, same book here, Womack and Jones. This is a new edition, uh, re re revised version, 1996, Lean Thinking. Of course, they cannot use Toyota production system because it's uh, Toyota. So they created Lean Thinking. 
which is actually Toyota TPS. Okay, we are banish waste and create wealth. By 2012, they are already number one. I, I, now they're either number one or number two. Okay, Toyota is one of the best company in the world today. You can go and visit their website. So, and this is the statistics for global production figures. Little bit drop because of the the brake pedal crisis in 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that is a drop. But they're still, you know, one of the biggest producer in the whole world. Okay. Um, uh, this probably, okay, I'll send this slide to you. <laughs> I'll share with you the slide. Okay, you can read it after this. But the we need to understand, you know, Toyota's thinking, kangai kata ne. Oh, you want to take a five minute break, <laughs> coffee break, huh? Nian, five minute break. Uh, Liang, that is uh, Toyota no kangai kata, right? So what do you know about Toyota kangai kata, Liang? Yeah, before we take a break, maybe you can. Uh, Toyota, uh, the idea is actually from the supermarket. The Toyota supermarket was only after Taichi Ono went to US. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. So no. No. So they actually understood yeah. the. Uh, uh, yeah. You. You are right. But only after Taichi Ono went to uh, US to see the supermarket system, Kanban supermarkets, and they, they created the uh, GITS. Yeah. You are right. You are right. Supermarket. Uh, Hangai kata sorry. Is you said. Uh, sorry. sorry, professor. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Yako. Okay. Uh, professor, I forgot actually today's class. No problem. No problem. Uh, okay. I was sleeping. <laughs> I totally forgot. It's okay. No problem. Okay. Just, Just now wake up and found the <laughs> SMS in, in WhatsApp. And <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry, Liam. sorry. Yeah, Liam, sorry. Liam, what was you saying? What was you saying? Uh, the idea it is, good. is not the Product ideas is some product ideas, production ideas, or some um, motto of this company. What some motto company? What what what? Hmm. Kangai kata you. The, the, the idea ah, is kangai kata. The kangai kata. Mm, um, so you kangai kata. Ne? This is this is uh, the uh, no Toyota no hajimete no saikichi ah. Toyota no. This is how we run the company. Ah yes. So you, this is how they run the company. Yeah. This is this is uh, principles of our belief system in Toyota. For example, you said uh, you should take your break. Never mind. Finish this. You'll take a five minute break. Always be faithful to your duties. You can find out from Japanese also, but it's the same. So you must know your faith, faithful to your duties. Therefore, contribute to the company. So everyone will have a very strong belief to give best to the company, to the overall good. Number two, that is why Toyota creative because it is their principle. Always be studious and creative and strive to stay ahead of the times. For example, if they produce new design car, today they have Toyota Mirai. Toyota Mirai is fuel cell, one the first fuel cell to be produced, for example, okay? Always be practical and avoid, this is like, uh, you know, playing, playing around only in office or playing around only in work, previlessness. Previlessness means not serious in when you are, doing your work in the you know office or in your production so commitment commitment kind of thing 
Number four, home-like atmosphere at work, Oof, warm and friendly. Okay? And always have respect for spiritual matters and remember to be grateful at all times. So this is a kind of, you know, uh, principles. And also, later on, you will see that, for example, if you say you must be studious and creative, that means you must find better ways. You must do Kaizen every day, every week, every month. Hmm. Reduce waste. Uh, sorry, what? That is also Kaizen. Reduce waste. Reduce waste. Okay. Right. So take five minute break. Then after that, I'll try to share more of these uh, Toyota principles and also Toyota Way. Toyota Way. Toyota Way. Why? You know, all this I did through my own, uh, you know, research on uh, Toyota production system. Okay. Um, supermarket is only Kanban. <laughs> yeah. Kanban system, JIT is the supermarket. But it is more than the, you know, that uh, Kanban. It is, it is a, um, a, way of, a way of life. A way of life. Okay, take five minute coffee, then we will, I'll try, I'll share with you. Okay. Right. Now before we take a, took 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 a break, uh, I was talking about these five main principles of Toyota, and uh, you can refer this to references. I can see this, and. Um, my own conclusion about why Toyota need a new production system is that they were in crisis. Okay, Toyota was in a crisis situation after World War with scarce resources, no technology, there were late comer in car industry, there was no raw material, and especially Okanega Skunai, no much money. So when you do have not much money, so you, and your only resource is men, ningen. Therefore you need to produce given these constraints. So you need a system to do things differently. So doing different, they invented Toyota production. This is, uh, this is uh, Taichi Ono. This is the father, one of the gurus in uh, TPS, Taichi Ono. So you need to develop your own technology, your own methods, which is far more effective for survival, which is quality control plus production plus management systems, which is uh, you know, the uh, Toyota production system. And uh, one of the principles is just in time, which is produce only what is required, only the amount required or the quantity required at the desired time, okay? And you must reduce the time between order and delivery. So the shorter this time from order to delivery, if you can, the customer order and you can deliver in one week, or, you know, if the delivery time promise is three weeks, you can get your money back. If you waste, you know, delay, 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 then, so the time between order and delivery must be shortened, the lead time, okay? So that's the basis. Eh? That's why you need to do a lot of uh, waste reduction. So the Americans, they call it lean thinking. Okay, same thing, it's Toyota production lean thinking. Eh? Uh, they took some of the principles and this is the lean thinking principles. It's not exactly Japanese, but this is how the, they think. That's why you have this flow and pull, flow and pull, specify value, create value stream, make value flow, pull, not push, strive for perfection. So this is lean thinking principles, but of course it's uh, uh, similar to Toyota production system, but this is what the Americans have concluded eh, their, from their research. Because Womack and Jones are not engineers. Womack and Jones are just Social scientists, they, they actually do research on uh, how Toyota become excellent. So the philosophy of 
TPS is it is a company wide activity for pursuing rationality in manufacturing and development of superior production engineering based on the philosophy of thorough elimination of waste. Uh, so that is, uh, you know, the whole GIT, okay, because you want to eliminate waste. Uh, hey Junka, stable waste reduction. You, you must find waste, eh? waste in production and also in process. So Taichi Ono said, this is what TPS is. Cost reduction through elimination of waste. Can only gain high profit by uh, no waste. Time, waste. Waiting, waste. So the product produce if there's a lot of waiting time, you put in inside there is waste, okay? And your profit become less. There is a slide actually on how Japanese view waste. Uh, sorry, view cost, okay? Uh, I explained just now, Jidoka. Jidoka is quality at the source. Stop the production line when there is a defect, okay? That's when Toyota uh, found that when they were making uh, cloth. Jidoka, the trade, trade, then, then you know the thread then it snaps, then you stop the machine. Okay. So this very important, very important. Cost reduction and limit waste. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to go to all these slides. Uh, this is from Leica. This is Jeffrey Leica, Toyota Way. He do a lot of research in uh, Michigan, so University of Michigan. Foundation. Philosophy, uh, you haven't seen this, uh, visual management. What is visual management? So that, and then standardized process. He Junka, level production. This is foundation. Sorewa, foundation. Then two pillars. Pillar JIT, pillar Jidoka. Okay, Jidoka. And continuous improvement center. Waste reduction, Genchi Genbutsu, 5Y, Eyes for Waste. <laughs> May, for example, I go to any production line, immediately I can see Sorewa Muda, <laughs> immediately. Okay, so if I go to 7 Eleven, I look at the process, Sorewa Muda. Okay, so Eyes. Looking for waste, not finding fault, eh? Jacob. Not finding fault. <laughs> this is improvement thinking. Yes. If someone <laughs> who has improvement thinking, he will go to any processes and be able to have that. Okay, and also people and teamwork. So this is the principles. If you understand this, you can go far in understanding why you need uh, excellent, excellent uh, operations management. Okay, operation management, which will achieve best quality. This is the target. Target, on top is this target. Low cost, shortest lead time, best safety, high morale. Very important, high morale in workers. Motiv very motivated through working, which is done through shortening the production flow by eliminating waste. Okay. Waste elimination, waste thinking. Eh? So that's uh, the most uh, important thinking. Professor, of, uh, yes. What is the abbreviation of TPS? TPS is Toyota Production System. Sorry, Toyota. Okay. And Jidoka? Jidoka means uh, uh, production. Stop the production. Autonomation. Okay. There is an explanation after this. I will explain further on Jidoka. I've already explained it. Okay. Okay. It is basically automatic stopping the process. Oh, okay. Automating automatic stop. Sometimes we hmm. don't have to use the worker. If any problem stop. occurs, it automatic stop. Yes. The, the machine will automatically stop. Or the worker is empowered to stop the machine. Okay. It's okay to stop the machine. Do not penalize the worker for stopping the machine. Mm. Do not, you know. Uh, so, so this is the pillar just now. JIT, just in time. Uh, uh, make okay. enough. Jidoka is never let a defect.
pass to the next station pass to the next station. and free ah, okay. people and from free machine people from that machine. mean the okay. machine free. itself will do the stopping okay it is it is mechanical you know if the machine there is a detect uh, breaking then machine stop uh, you design into the machine to stop uh, that's great you have to think that way if you cannot you cannot let the worker just you know uh, sometime worker like in in malaysia or in bangladesh we have to make the machine stop because sometimes worker don't stop the machine also okay and leveling production hey junka huh? okay uh, i'm not going that's why i say i'm not going to and when there is in in english is called autonomation jidoka in english is called autonomation equipment will uh, stop by itself okay o o automation with human touch yeah? this is what uh, tai chi ono said eh? and also uh, a famous uh, kaizen uh, guru uh, masaki imai okay masaki imai he you no know, he automate he talks about automation with human touch um, Right. so no overproduction because if you produce defect and the machine doesn't stop machine keep on producing the production the parts it's overproduction with defects okay so that's the whole purpose whole purpose is don't produce waste okay no overproduction low levels of inventory building thing right the first time right uh Okay, I think I've shown you just now this uh, Toyota way, which is actually respect for people, continuous improvement. And under respect for this, you can find in Toyota's uh, manual, its internal document. Respect others, respect me, respect others. Make effort to understand each other, take responsibility, teamwork, uh, maximize team. You need a lot of training. So Toyota, they they have their own university. <coughs> Do you know that? Shitemaska. Toyota have their own university. <laughs> they train their own staff and they have their own programs to develop their you know knowledge for their company. And they use this. They they don't have to invent Six Sigma. No no Toyota no Six Sigma. Toyota TPS. Okay TPS. They don't use Six Sigma. They don't need Six Sigma because they have, they design they build quality in the process. Build quality in the process. Okay, they don't have to, you know, have a projects to find to you know. And then Kaizen, and Genchi Genbutsu. Right, go to the source to find the facts to make correct decision and build consensus and trust. So that's why when you work in a Japanese organization, you must be someone who is very patient. You have to be patient because they take a long time to discuss a problem and also to come out with some solutions. They are not very, you know. Sometimes we, uh, Jacob, we want to <laughs> fast, fast. Do things fast, but do no. They go to the gen, Genji Genbutsu. Go to the Gemba. Go to the Gemba, Gemba or Genji, eh? Gemba Genbutsu. See the problem, okay? Then only take countermeasure. <coughs> okay. Okay. Same thing. Uh, three pillar respect for people. Okay. Fuji Cho said first. We build people, then we build cars. What do you mean by this? <coughs> uh, Liang? Ah, that means they <coughs> first train the people. Okay. To make the right production, and then they will go to production. Okay. Other than that, Liang, when you say build people, what do you mean by build people? uh training okay training you see your 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 views are very narrow you know training, training. <laughs> building people you know that's why you have to build the 
culture and the system inside the working environment to build the people. Training is just one part of it. You have to have a mentor system, mentor. Japanese uh, senpai kohai system, right? So the Japanese junior will work with a senior. They will, you know, follow and get their knowledge. Long time. It's okay. You'll be patient. And uh, the, the request for you to do uh, small projects, small projects. So building people attitude. How do you build people attitude? Not only training. Training is not enough. For example, I give you an example. When you go to a factory and there are safety procedures, for example, when you want to cross the, uh, the, the, the road or this path, safety procedure says uh, right, left, right, or left, right, left, point fingers, point fingers. When I, want, when I went to Toyota in Nagoya, I observed everybody following that procedure. Point fingers left, point fingers right, then only cross and walk. You know, it is attitude and also behavior change. You understand? So that is, you know, the discipline is built through and the seniors will do it, the juniors will follow. Some organization, seniors don't follow rules. When seniors don't follow rules, what happened, Yaakob? The seniors will say, oh, no need to do this. No, 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 this is not important. What happened to the juniors? Of course, they follow the seniors. Sir. And they also will break the rule. So they, oh. they will break the rule and you will yes. damage the the way of doing things. Same in <coughs> right, any, right. Entire production any, system finally will actually do this. In any society, same in any society. In any society, right. if the politician don't follow the rules, the people also don't follow the rules. Right, right, exactly. So, so this is you know attitudes, behavior. The elders must show good examples. The senior manager, the senior staff, even workers, senior workers don't teach bad habits to the young, you know, young people trying to do good things. And then he said, no, 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 no. You suppress his motivation and his, you know, uh, um, drive. So build people. Very, very difficult to build people. Okay. I can talk about Toyota for days and days and days. <laughs> Toyota, but... This is Toyota business practice, problem solving method, very step by step. And this method is everybody must know in, uh, in uh, Toyota. Everybody follow this step. Everybody must have uh, Yoko 10. See here? Share the new standard, Yoko 10. Must do. Then manager follow up. Okay, do good. Thank you. Yoroshiku <laughs> Odegashimas. And also, of course, Japanese, eh? Japanese style. Eh? This is, I like this. I like this. This is how Toyota uh, challenge, eh? problem challenge in Toyota. This is to, to Toyota, to them, there is two types of problem. One is gap problem. Gap problem means there is a difference between current situation and ideal situation. So there is a there's a gap. So you need to solve that problem. Okay. For example, the current situation say that you must now we should produce 100, but until now we only achieve 99. Why no not 99? Let's say more than that 90. There is shortage of 10 units. Why? Ideal situation we already should produce 100, but now only 90. Why? Okay, five why? <laughs> five why? Gokai. Gokai. Why, Naze? You get the kotai, the answer. Nansa, why, Naze? 
Why, 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 why? Then you can find the root cause of problem. Root cause. Root cause, eh? the, the real problem. And this, this is a setting type of problem whereby there is a event type. There is also, you know, this current situation, current ideal. So this is type of problem that they must understand then they will have to solve it, okay? And Tai Chi Uno said, no one has more trouble than the person who claims to have no trouble. So in the company, if you say you got no problem, then something wrong with you. <laughs> Same in life. If Nian, Monday ga arimas ka? Taksan Monday arimas ne. No, no problem, ka. Uh, so, uh, no, I uh, have a lot of problems. Ah, uh, so that that is uh, normal, normal. Okay, so we solve the problem. Solve, so problem is for us to solve. Don't run away from problem. Solve the problem. Sometimes we cannot solve hundred percent problem. Let time solve the problem. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So in Toyota, they understand that. Production, very difficult. There is a lot of issues. So they need a step-by-step. -step. So they need a scientific problem-solving step and process methodology, which is this. This step and processes for Toyota problem-solving. Clarify the problem, break down the problem, set a target, analyze the root cause, and so on. Okay, eight steps. So this is, this is Kangai Kata. <laughs> This is a way of thinking in Toyota. Okay. Okay, I have five more minutes. Okay, this is, this is okay. So waste is important, waste, right? Waste in Toyota production. So what is considered waste? Nothing that does not add value. Anything that does not add value is waste. Add value means if I do this, it brings benefit. If I read a book, bring benefit, value. Okay, if I play a game, no knowledge, waste. Okay, so that's uh, no value, no value. Value wa nyongo wa nandes ka? Value. Nihongo wa? Kachi. 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 So, kachi ga nai. Yaranai. Kachi ga aru, yaru. Okay. So, so in processes, there's a lot of ways. A lot of ways. There is walking ways. There is uh, take part from far, you know, and then there is movement ways. When I teach you motion study, I say there is um, third blade, hand movement. There is, you know, synchronized. Motion economy. So focus on the waste elimination in way in lean is actually you reduce non-value added. Not value added. Value added. Don't don't reduce value added. Those are actually things which are uh, you know important and it result. It produce results. So keep those value added uh, activities and processes. Okay. Um, so in a typical pr product environment, like manufacturing, 35% is non-value adding activity, okay? Uh, sorry, 60% is non-value adding activity. Huh? This is necessary activity, but non-value adding like transportation is necessary, but it doesn't add value to the end product. Okay, add value to the end product means it will actually transform the uh, uh, function, improve the function, and it gives you value. In service or in information environment, it is um, 40, 49% non-value adding, 50% necessary but non-value adding. Okay, I'm just showing you this is the kind of waste that is existing in all processes, whether in hospital, whether in banks, whether in uh, service, anywhere. Please check this. 
Okay, the word of course is muda lah. Muda is Japanese for waste. Over processing. You need to uh, you know, sign document. Every page you need to sign document. Waste. Why? No lawyer contract. Every page. What, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. This, uh, you know, they just create unnecessary over processing. Okay, or over production. Produce sooner, faster, more than the quantity. And it results into inventory. So waste of production, waste of inventory, waste of waiting, waste of motion, unnecessary movement, transportation. If it is necessary, then uh, of course, uh, but this actually doesn't add value to the product. Okay. Uh, rework. Uh, this is quality defects or issues, not non right first time or repetition or correction. Rework. Okay. This is damage you need to, you need to do repair. That is, that is muda. So we want to find muda and remove the muda, reduce the muda. Taichi Ono said, okay, probably I have this one or two slides. Uh, don't bother about thinking about time away if this, just do it and uh, do it. Anyway, he's saying that you must find these seven ways, okay? But of course, it's not limited to seven ways. There are many ways, okay? But we just simplify that. Eh? There is a Japanese saying, he without bad habit has seven, meaning if you think there is no ways, you will find at least seven types. So that's why he came out with the, he invented that, eh? Tai Chi Ono invented the seven types of ways. Just to simply for simplicity purposes, okay, for just to actually, uh, you know, uh, pick up to do kaizen. And this is in okay, is uh, Yakub in Quran we have this, you know, in Islam we have this, um, uh, this mubazirin. This is a waste. Innal mubazirin. Mm. Those who are wasteful are brothers of devils. Okay, in the Mubaziri Nakano, Ehwana Shayatin. So, in our religion, we already understand. Yeah, we already understand this uh, ways. Yeah. Okay, or even uh, doing uh, ablution. Uh, the Prophet said, Do not waste water, do not. Uh, uh, is that extravagant in the use of water? Yes, even if you are. Taking uh, wudu in a flowing water, river. Okay, that's waste. Okay, Japanese are very careful about uh, motai nai. <laughs> Sorry, motai nai. Motai nai. That's why they have motai nai. <coughs> and on top of uh, mura, uh, muda, there is also mura. Mura is unevenness, inconsistency. Okay, this is inconsistent. One is heavy, one is, uh, you know, so we must balance. Or overburden. So when we do work, we have to think about just enough. Just enough. No muda, no mura, no muri. Okay. Muda so it will. Muri is muri. 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 <laughs> <coughs> Kill the person. <coughs> Hi. We've stopped here. We'll continue, you uh, know, any question before? Taksan rimas ne? On Tony, I can talk about uh, TPS for years, uh, for days and days. Uh, this is one of my operations management. Uh, um, one of my favorite, you know, topics, subjects that I, you know, operation management and also in TPS. Eh? Too many people assume that things are all right the way they are. But too many people Assume things are all right. Daijobu. <laughs> Daijobu. Okay. <laughs> but that way may not be the right way. Kaizen is about changing the way things are. If you assume that things are all right the way they are, you cannot Kaizen. Okay. So change something. Mai nichi Kaizen. Liang, mai nichi Kaizen. Jibun deno Kaizen. This is guru of quality. 
uh, Kaizen Masaki Imai. Okay, I have met him before, uh, but not Taichi Ono. He passed away. Okay, Kaizen. So how do you say this in uh, Chinese or in uh, Nihongo? Kore wa nan no kanji desu ka? Hatsuan wa? Kaizen? Ah, Shiyugoku go nara geisha. Chotto niteimasu. Niteimasu? Nani? Geisha. Shiyugoku deisha? Hai, geisha. How do you spell it? What is its meaning? Meaning is uh, uh, Kaizen? Uh, so, what's the spelling? Uh. What's the spelling? How do you spell that? Uh. Uh, uh, pronunciation? <laughs> no, how do you spell it out so that I can pronounce it? Oh, okay. Oh, here is it. ガイシャン。ああ、はい。そうです。え、中国語はわかりますか。ああ、ガイシャン。ガイシャン。はい、はい。すごい上手いです。上手くないよ。え、本当に上手い。同じ。同じ。はい。オッケー。本当に上手い